Okay, so as I got cut off there, um, one more time, the pulmonary veins are carrying oxygenated blood. This is the only time a, a vein will carry oxygenated blood. Um, so there's four of those. Now on the right side, we had pulmonary arteries, which took blood to the lungs. This is the only time an artery will carry deoxygenated blood. Arteries always carry oxygenated blood except for that exception. And you can take a look at uh, the slides and the pictures, of course, all the way through to slide 50. Okay, so earlier we had said that the ventricles were thicker than the atria. The left ventricle in particular because of the distance that it's got to it's got to pump will be much much thicker than the right ventricle now the heart itself has its own circula uh, circulation pattern um, this is this is absolutely critical. And when we talk about heart attacks and stuff, we're talking about the coronary circulation that's being affected. There is a left and a right coronary artery. Um, and then there are branches off of those. And those branches um, do vary. There is some difference between individuals. The arteries themselves in the heart contain anastasia. Uh, Moses and these are little junctions and they're, they're, they're additional routes for the blood delivery. Um, though this this circulation is absolutely critical to your health and, and really your life, they only contain about a 20th of the blood supply. The left coronary artery will branch off into the anterior, interventricular artery, sometimes known as the descending artery, and then the circumflex artery. The right branches off into the right marginal artery and the posterior interventricular artery. On the left side, this is um, this left coronary artery and the uh, descending artery. Those are sometimes known as the widow maker because a Inclusions to those like clots and blockages and stuff that lead to a heart attack will be fatal unless they are intervened by medical personnel emergencies. Coronary uh, coronary sinus here on slide 56. There's a great cardiac vein and a middle cardiac vein, and then there's a small cardiac vein. It, the whole deal here is these veins are going to drain into the coronary sinus, and then that's going to lead to the right atrium. You can see these veins in slide 57. 50, slide 58 will then show the posterior view as to where um, the two vena cava meet into the right atrium. A couple clinical terms next. Angina pectoris is chest pain. That's going to be from, you know, heart muscles, the myocardium not getting oxygen. If there is a blockage in the coronary system, then we call that a heart attack. Well, the real name is myocardial infarction. It's a really goofy name. But anyways, that's, that's when the heart is deprived of muscles, deprived of oxygen. That can lead to cell death, and, and then that cannot regenerate. Okay, so on this slide, microscopic anatomy, and this video is going to end here shortly, um, there's a lot of similarities. Remember, there's striations, and there's usually one nucleus. 